Only the last survivor will win the game and all the money on Pass the Buck with your host, Bill Collins. Thank you. Thank you for your spontaneous burst of applause. We are happy to have you here at Pass the Buck. When we went off the air yesterday, uh, we had uh, Linda and Marge and Gina, they were in the midst of a game, and over here in the bullpen, having been eliminated in the early rounds, is Phil Chula. Hello, Phil. Pretty good. You watch what happens because you might very well get back in there. Now, we have over there, let me tell you this, in addition to Gina and Marge, who have not won anything yet, we have Linda Credit, our homemaker, who thus far on the show has broken all records and has won a total of 275. to see what a lady with money looks like. And you look good, Linda. Okay, we're going to see who uh, gets a chance at the $5,000 jackpot. We're going to pick up the show right now with $575 currently in the bank. Linda, you're going to start. The survivor of this round gets the money in the bank. We had $25 for every correct answer. Linda, to survive this round, you must name a movie that starred or featured either Bob Hope or Bing Crosby. A movie that starred or featured either Hope or Crosby or both. Look, go ahead. Going my way. Going my way. Crosby and Crosby. Road to Hong Kong. We have a list, by the way, of all of these. Gina? The St. Mary. Okay, we now have 650 in the bank. Linda? The Road to Morocco. That was one. Marge. Delay. That's the only road I think they didn't make, Margie. Gina, to knock Margie out of the game, can you give me a Hope or Crosby picture? White Christmas. That sure is what one of them is. Okay, if nobody hits the $5,000 jackpot, you'll be back in the game. We have two players left. It's Linda and Gina, and this is for the money, ladies. We have $700 in the bank for the money and the crack at the $5,000, beginning with Linda. Let's see who's left. To survive this round, you must name something that is normally found in a jar. J-A-R. Something that is normally found in a jar. Linda, begin, please. Cookies. Sure. Mustard. Mustard. Linda. Cold cream. Gina. Relish. Linda. Pickles. Gina. Jelly. $850 in the bank. Mayonnaise. <laughs> Peanut butter. Preserves. Salad dressing. Ketchup. <laughs> Suppositories. I said normally, not originally. <laughs> thousand dollars in the bank. Let us pick up now, because uh, something happened there to throw us off our pace a little bit. A thousand dollars in the bank, picking up with Linda. Normally found in a jar. Baby cream. <laughs> Instant <laughs> coffee. Good. Instant tea. <laughs> olives. Green olives. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, um. Time. Linda, Gina, to knock Linda out of the game and win $1,100, can you name me one that hasn't been named? Horseradish. Horseradish. It's good. Come on over here, Linda. <laughs> Linda, for the first time, how do you like it over here? Yeah, exactly. Gina Paterno. What did I win? <laughs> yes. What did you win? So far, you've won $1,100 in oh. cash, and now you're going to get a chance to try for the 5,000 fast bucks. Come on down here and try your luck. There she is. Okay. 
Gina Fatia, now a housewife, right? Yes. $1,100 no matter what happens to you, fabulous, Gina. Fabulous, fabulous. Oh, that's yours, and I go get a crack at 5,000 biggies. Over here we have Marge and Linda and Phil waiting to see what happens. Mm -hmm. If you don't get it, they'll all get back in the game. Gina, comes your chance now to win 5,000 fast bucks. You win two ways. You win if you reveal all the answers on any one line going across, or you win if you reveal at least one answer on every line going up. Now, on the bottom line, we have hidden four different measures of distance. Four measures of distance. Name as many as you can. If you get all four in 15 seconds, you win $5,000. Okay. okay, you're ready to go. I'm ready. 15 seconds for $5,000, go. Mile, millimeter, kilometer, inch, yard, foot, um, uh, inch, nudge, inch. You uh. got you've already won and we say goodbye we say goodbye to to phil and marge and our thanks to them and we say goodbye reluctantly to the who thus far shake my hand if you would please twenty thousand two hundred and seventy five thousand During the celebration and the wild playing of the music and the applause and the yelling and screaming after Gina won the money, she kept saying something in a loud voice in my direction. I, I couldn't, I, I swear you said, you bought me a fence. A fence. <laughs> I need a fence for my house and this just bought it. Keep my two children in the yard. <laughs> the other 4,000 will go on a cardiac surgeon, I think. <laughs> so you're going to buy a new fence yes, for you. We thought fence. you had some hot jewelry you wanted to get rid of. <laughs> Would have been, uh, made a better human interest story. Sorry. Right now you have three new opponents. You have $6,100 that is yours thus far, Gina. And would you, beginning with you, Suzanne, would you all introduce yourself, please? Hi, Bill. I'm Suzanne Caton and I work in a restaurant. Okay. Hi, Bill. I'm Helene Jarecki. I'm a homemaker and I'm Christian's mother. Oh, and? How you doing, Bill? I'm Eric Van Voorhees, and I'm a claims representative with the Social Security Administration. Eric Van Voorhees, that's a marvelous name. Any relation to Rayburn Van Voorhees? Never heard of him. <laughs> never heard of him? Okay, I never heard of Christian either, Helene. No, <laughs> then. We are, starting, we are starting this round with $100 in the bank. For every right answer, we add 25. The survivor gets that money and a crack at the 5,000. Starting with Gina, our $6,100 champion. To survive this round, you have to name a place a person keeps money. A place a person keeps money. Go ahead, Gina. In a wallet. That's the most logical. In your pocket. In a bank. Eric? In a safe deposit box. Now we, are, we have 200 and mattress. <laughs> See that? In a money belt. Helene? In a savings account. That is a duplicate, same as in a bank. Eric, to knock Helene out of the game, can you give me a place? I sure can. Down the Brazier? Down the Brazier. Okay, come on over here. Helene, you and me will observe what's going on over there. Again, we're starting with you, Gina. And this time to survive, we're, gonna, we're going to make beef and vegetable stew. Beef and vegetable stew. I hope you're good cooks. To survive this, you have to give us one of the ingredients in a beef, or, beef and vegetable stew. Our authority is the new McCall's cookbook. There are 19 ingredients that you can name. Gina, starting with you, go ahead. Beef cubes. Beef, certainly the most important. Suzanne. Celery. Correct, Eric. Carrots. Good. Potatoes. Gina. Salt. Onions. They're all good. Water. Pepper. Eric. Paprika. 
I'm sorry, it is not called for in ours. That is unacceptable. Paprika is not in the recipe. Now, Gina, in order to knock Eric out and stay in the round yourself, give us one ingredient of beef and vegetable stew. Tomato. Tomato? You did it. Come on over here.